Hey there, Amy Demas with Communicate Excellence. Thank you for your interest in the business, and I look forward to getting to know you even a bit more. As you can see, I like my Peloton. I'm the mother of a blended family with five adult children, and at this current time, one granddaughter as well. I started this business after working with my husband, who is an orthodontist, and worked in every one of the administrative role positions. He said, you need to go help others. So that's what I'm doing. And I love it. It draws upon what I loved doing when I used to be a homeschooling parent, as well as what I loved doing when I was at the bank and helping uncover truth and, and empowering others. So that's what I look forward to our relationship together. Now I started Communicate Excellence, goodness, a few years ago now, but I want to make it different. I don't want to sit in a gotcha mode. I want to sit as I empower others. And that's one of the reasons why, as you'll see, I wrote a book, Communicate Excellence. It is the first of its kind, and it is truly a guide that would be empowering for not only you, but empowering for any person on your team. Over the next three emails, I want to make sure that we give you some of the best of the best. But first, let me tell you what really excites me and what we're really passionate about here at Communicate Excellence. The first, your conversion rate. I want to make sure that we lose the minimal amount of people. We want yes as often as possible. And we must realize it starts from the very first phone call and goes all the way through to when we have sales asking for you want to buy in with us? So the conversion rate is the first thing. The second thing is building the confidence of your team members. I want them to understand not only what they should do, but why they should do it. Then it becomes something within them that makes them want to do it well instead of, oh, just something I need to memorize. And then the last thing, I want to make sure that your marketing dollars are as impactful as possible and not wasting any bit of it. You're spending a lot of money to get that phone to ring, for that chat bot to have a note on it, for that text to come in, for that event to occur. And we want to make sure that anyone who expresses interest is given the best experience and the best customer journey to a yes. So let's talk about one metric today. That being what is known as straight through processing. It's a term that is actually used in banking. Straight through processing does a few things. It is when somebody calls or, or enters into your system, they immediately say yes and they immediately get started. It's the happy path. And the reason it's so great is it helps decrease some things and increase other things. The things it decreases, well, it decreases your operating costs. Goodness, if somebody flows through so quickly and easily, it's fewest touch points possible until you have somebody starting. It helps reduce errors because the fewer times we touch, the fewer error possibilities there are. And then the last thing it helps reduce is shrinkage. It, you know those times when somebody comes in and they're too young to get started with orthodontic treatment. Over the course of years, you may lose track of them and that's called shrinkage. But what does it increase? Well, it increases the ease of doing business with you. Oh. It's so much easier to get started the very same day I walk in the door than have to keep coming back and back and back again. And huh, maybe of highest interest to you, it says accelerates funds. It means that from the time they ring on the phone to the time that there is money in the bank account is the fastest it is possible. So since this is such an important metric, let's talk about how it's actually calculated. Typical straight through processing for an orthodontic office. And this has come about with years and years of data that I currently have that I have kept on uh, my husband's office and as well as insights to many of my clients. And here's what we find. Out of 100 phone calls, and those are 100 phone calls that are actually put into your practice management system, straight through processing, a mere 36 starts. You may say, what? How's that possible? I'm not talking about those who, who cycle back around and finally start. I'm talking about this, this fast and this happy path that is 100 calls, results in 36 straight through processing starts. Whew. 
boy, if we can have an impact there, it'll make a big difference. So let's talk about how we get that number. Here we start with 100 calls, and the first thing, the first decision point is, will they even come in? And what we find is 15% don't even come in. Wow, they expressed interest to you and blew you off or got started somewhere else. Then if they do come in, we have the next decision point. Are they ready? And what we find is because we are encouraging younger and younger kids to come in as American Association of Orthodontics recommends seven and up coming on in, that we find 35%, and that's pretty middle of the road, 35% are not even ready to get started. Then the last thing is, will you accept the treatment once we offer it? And we find another 35% are not ready on that day it's offered to get started. And so when you keep spilling people out and spilling people out, it's only 36 left. So let's find a fast way to calculate this instead of having to go through this entire churn. So here's how we do it. Look at that no-show rate, 15%. Each one of these numbers, we're gonna subtract from 100. So 100 minus 15 is 85. That means 85% of those went through. Then our observation rate, 100 minus 35 is 65, and on the pending, 100 minus 35 is 65. And if you remember your math days of um, this percent of, this percent of, keep multiplying, and that's how you get to 36%. Here's the thing. We may not have much influence on that observation rate because they are what they are. They are the age they are. They are the readiness they are. But that no-show rate and that pending rate, we have a lot of impact on. And here's what I find. After people go through our training and our coaching, we can easily increase that straight through processing rate four to six percent. Well, that's another four or six out of every hundred phone calls. Start doing the math of your average treatment fee and it can be quite a big number. And that's with no extra marketing dollars spent. That's simply converting those phone calls that have already been there. So I'm excited for you because we can make a change in this in less than three months of time. Well, I look forward to getting to know you a little bit more over the next couple emails. But until next time, go communicate excellence.